on Friday, July 19th, 2024, our most precious Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, stated that God wants all the world people to know the name of a dangerous individual who has been falsely proclaiming that Master designated him as her successor. Master explained that he is a zealous demon who is seriously misleading and harming his followers, and that he should immediately stop trying to associate himself with Master. Master also asked God to forgive humans for not knowing or remembering her because we are continually deceived by the illusion of Maya. Hello there, all the pure souls and absolute devotees to God. I, I have to tell you what God wants me to tell you, even though I never thought I would have to, because I'm not used to this kind of dealing, this kind of handling of the situation. So I, I have tried to avoid it, and I just did not think. But God told me the word people have to know. That's exactly what his words were. I would not dare for heaven and hell to tell lies. You know that. I told you only the truth, even when it's uncomfortable. I thought I had made some uh, explanation already last time in one of the fly news and also the continuation into the between master and disciples, which they probably aired already or will air soon, because there are several BMD parts, so probably they take time to air. I try to avoid the name. Even as I explained, and I worry about the faithful, the innocent people who follow the false master. I did mention some part of it, but then I tried to avoid the name. But God forced me so that I have to tell the name. So this person, this entity's name, he named himself Guruji Ruma. He tried to do everything almost like I do, and copy in every way, as bad can copy as he is. Just like the Buddha said that in the Dharma and in age, which is now, the deluding Mara and his gang will use the same way as the Buddha to destroy the Buddha's Dharma. But originally I thought it was just a small group of people, you know, and he's not the only one who stole my teaching style and way of life. They just jumped in, took the initiation, did not pray or meditate or anything, and then just jumped out and announced themselves as masters, thinking that the only simple instruction is what it is. They don't have any master power, nor any idea about how to take people upward, how to protect them from troubles and hell, etc. But as I told you also already, there is no one at the moment that reach this height yet. Maximum would be at the third level, high third the most, not yet even free themselves from the recycling cycle of birth and death. How can they liberate others? by their own meager spiritual income. Like a poor man, how to help anyone if he himself has nothing to eat? Except that in one of the fly news, uh, they would probably air it in uh, between master and disciples. So I thought that was very clear. Well, I have a note somewhere. Uh, just one moment. Uh -uh. I come back. Uh, like duly, only 15% of my so-called disciples, I call them God disciples, but in this world, 
with the language. I just have to say my disciples. And only 15% are low fifth level. And 65% are low fourth up to uh, high fourth level. Some of my saintly disciples already passed away and went to the new realm of Timkutu. Heaven it is, yes, a Buddha's land. None of my disciples beyond the fifth level are still on this planet. And outside people, no matter what they say, only a few, so rare few, if any, have reached the fifth level at all. I have become Buddha, but I didn't want to say too much. You know, I don't want to offend anybody, even though the truth is the truth, yes because they don't practice the correct method. They don't go the direct way, that's all, okay? But this person named Trang Tam, or Ruma, copy my name almost, I used to feel, you know, shy to tell people that I'm Supreme Master Ching Hai. So I told them, call me Suma. So for a period of time, they call me Suma. And this person, Trang Tam, he couldn't, get the name Summa, so he called himself Ruma. And many people also ask me whether or not he's my successor. Of course not. I have nothing to do with Trang Tam or Ruma. Of course he's not. Trang Tam is not my successor. No one in my fold knows about it. Even I don't know it myself. And they said I conferred his title of successor. I would know it if I did. All my disciples would know about it. So it's all fake, all false, and all total fiction. I am never responsible for anything he does. May the whole world know he is harmful and be aware of him. Be away from him before he sucks you dry. The farther, the better for the world. I have never announced that I have a successor, and I have never announced that I quit my job. No, I do many things, not just being a master, you know? It's not like I am a professional master like every other master before. All they do is just teach their disciples and not anything else. And even then, they have a lot of, a lot of trouble already. And I have to take care of the world also. And by the way, take care of my disciples, whoever believes in me. I just take them in. I never check their background, what they do, whether or not they have money, they practice, or they have enough merit. Mostly, I take everyone. I give them a chance to change, yeah, to U-turn. But some of them just came in for, you know, their own personal ulterior motive or sent by the negative force to mess up this world. Actually, they are not humans. That's why I checked already. This Trang Tam is a zealous demon, a very hard one. People who have clairvoyant eyes can see that this entity named Ruma is really a demon in disguise. Maybe some of you can open your eyes and look. I risk my reputation, safety, precious time, plus more, etc. to tell you. Just because God wants me to. And I check with the, the king of Mara. Now we talk sometimes, even though he does the opposite, you know, of what I'm doing and try so hard to harm me, but he's better now. So I call him Nobu Mara King. And I'm hoping that he will really help me to take care of this world, to make this world into a paradise. Right now, as God told me, now I have the King of Karma and the King of Security helping me extra. Apart from many other kings, I have a long list of the kings that came to pay respect to me last year in April. But uh, I don't know where I put that uh, book. You see, uh, my uh, place is very small. I can't just uh, leave everything lying around. So if I want to 
find something, I have to dig in boxes, <laughs> you know, taped boxes or maybe locked uh, uh, valise somewhere. Anyway, know that all the kings have come, all kinds of kings. Some do benevolent work, some cannot because of the karma of the world that pushes them into doing what they are doing, like the king of war, for example. Now, this demon was sent by the king of Mara. I asked the noble Mara king to remove this demon called Trangtam or Ruma from my near. He should be away for nothing to do with me. Anything from me, he must not use my name, my translated name, my teaching, my method of teaching, my secret gift to my disciples, everything related, connected with me. Nothing he should use, nothing he is allowed to use. Better even he announces it officially, or else I cannot rescue him anymore if he continues, ever. And the Mara king will also have to bear some heavy responsibility because I never harmed Trang Tam or any of the demons if they do not harm me or my disciples or those who are good to me. I continue to talk to the Mara king. I am not only compassionate Mataya Buddha, but I am also the powerful Dharma will turning king. I don't just use compassion, but I also use the justice power which is inherent in my kingdom by King Force. Well, he newly has this name just some days ago. Long ago, he was still just Mara King. And now I thought he has some good intentions, noble intentions. And I hope he can uh, do something. But I'm not sure about that yet. Time will tell. Oh my God, maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Should I? Let me ask. Okay. Yes, but he says if somebody is bad, he still has to do his job. But before that, before this time, I told him I wasn't all that bad. So why did he send some demon, the being named Tang Tam, who would later call him Zeruma, the Guruji, even great master, oh my God, la. and exactly copy in almost everything I do. Even even I sing, he also sings with his voice. Oh my God, I I accidentally knew it just recently. I never knew all these years what he was doing. Well, because there are some who come in and uh, initiate it, you know, a few days, few months, and then somehow become a master, call himself a master. I just thought, oh, never mind. They don't have power, people would know. Oh, well, people don't know. After all, people don't know. They couldn't attract anybody, so I didn't worry too much, because I know they are fake. And I thought, I trusted that humans, they have souls, they must know what's fake and what's real. And then I'm too busy, I can't even remember them. I fixed one, the one I remember. He used to go with me on on retreats and show himself, and then suddenly he became master. I didn't know until somebody told me, until he was really sick. He was on his deathbed, and then he repented, prayed to me, and recovered. Of course, then I forgave him. But the other one did not repent. I even wrote him a letter. People complained to me, asking uh, why I made him like a successor. Why would I? Why would I give Chang Tam the position of successor? He was not even sent anywhere by me personally to give initiation, but he copied somehow. He copied also the gift from me, which is beyond the fifth spiritual level. He could not know that. And it is not supposed to be told to others, if you know, because you will lose that power immediately and harm yourself plus others too. 
I have more excellent monks and nuns. And they could not even do the job of successor, not to talk about him. So the zealous demon, just because he has a body, is difficult still yet to handle. And I asked the king of Mara if he did send this zealous demon, you know, under the body name of Trang Tam to bother me, distract people and seduce the vulnerable people. And the king of Mara admitted that he did send his demon subordinate named Trang Tam, also known as Ruma, because he took a lot of money from people. They also complained to me. Maybe he didn't behave well. That's why God told me, I have to tell you. The poor people have to know. Otherwise, I thought I had said something and intelligent people would have understood already who I was talking about, even though I didn't say the whole name. It's just because this time God told me I have to. The world people have to know. You have to tell his name, you know, Ruma has even mentioned the name. So I cannot disobey God. I had to tell people. I had to tell you. Other also fake masters, whoever I know, I also don't tell their names. I give them their dignity to change. Uh, the others didn't say anything, but this one Tang Tam, he even let people know, think, and announced that he is my successor and that I have even Chuk Thư in English. It's like my will to say that I retired and uh, he is my successor. I never done such a thing. I'm still working. Why should I be retired? I cannot retire. It's not a job that you can just quit, even if I want to. I can't find a successor yet. I wish I could find one to prepare for the future continuation of my work. Only if we're lucky can we find one. They say that if any master is lucky in their whole lifetime, he or she will find one good disciple. Not to talk about a successor yet. And if I want to find any successor, oh, not this guy, never. You can tell, you know that. But he can use the Mara power that his boss told him to, and then he can blind people and use some little power trick to make people believe that they get something from him or do some hula hula hub stuff and faking the power and faking the blessing. But all this, whoever follows him has to pay, even if they get some help from him, from this Trang Tam or Ruma, they have to pay dearly because it's all from Maya, from the King of Mara's power. It's not real. It's not from the Buddha. It's not from God. So they all have to pay and they have to become their subordinates, you know, their workers. And ah, oh, woe to them if they work for them because they're newlings, they're young, they're just newcomers. They don't have any power. They're going to be slaves all their many lifetimes. I really feel sorry. But you know, what can I do even Lord Jesus Christ also had people betray him. Milarupa's disciples betrayed and poisoned him. And the Buddha's cousin, Devadatta, also tried to kill the Buddha many times. And one time succeeded in cutting his toe with a big stone rolling from a high mountain when the Buddha was passing by. So many masters have been you know, betrayed and poisoned or killed by their own so-called disciples. But these are not real disciples. Whoever betrays the master is so clear like the sun that they cannot be real humans and cannot be real disciples. Yeah. 
they are from the king of Mara. And I do hope that in the future he will be a noble king. I told him, what's the use of you against me and uh, doing all kinds of destruction on this planet? Because if the planet is gone or damaged or harmed in any horrible way, many of your relatives, friends, children, and grandchildren are also wearing the garb of human body, and they will be harmed, they will be burnt, they will be horribly destroyed or completely annihilated by the law of the universe. So you better stand by my side and help me do the will of God. And you also be a king, but in such a noble manner, in a dignified kind of position. But he told me that humans are so bad. Many other humans are so bad. If they are bad, then he cannot treat them well. I said, please reconsider for my sake. Be my friend instead of my opponent. You gain nothing much out of it. I will give you a kingdom, much better than the kingdom that you have right now. I can create a kingdom for you, or we can create a kingdom the way you want it, and you rule with a noble manner, yeah? And the people, the world, will also respect you and love you, then you feel more comfortable, more beautiful than the way you go going around harming others, no matter the reason. God doesn't want that, and I'm sure you don't want that. So please rethink. Nevertheless, meanwhile, he has done something good, and I give him the title, the Noble Mara King. So if you want to address him, address him thus, and wish him to be truly that the noble Mara king who helps others instead of harming them. So now I repeat to you again, whoever of my so-called ex-disciples claims that I give them the position of successor, that has never happened, never. <laughs> this entity, Chang Tham, you know, he wears the way I wear, even as a man, but wears that look like a woman's, like the clothes as I wore before. This looks like a cheap copy. It's just exactly as the Buddha said, those demon monks like to wear world people's dress and delight in showing off, wearing also multicolored precept monks such as the real monk's robe, though patched, is only one color. After Ananda had repeated the question three times, the Buddha told him, after my nirvana, when the Dharma is about to extinct, the five mortal sins will follow the world and the demonic way will flourish exceedingly. The demons will become monks to spoil and wreck my way. They will wear like mundane people's dress, also with sash for monks. They will delight to show off multicolored precept sash or kashaya. They will drink wine and eat meat killing living things in their desire for fine flavors. They will not have compassionate minds and will hate and envy each other. The Ultimate Extinction of the Dharma Sutra Anyway, I had to create all that. Before I didn't, I just created them to make it for myself so that I can go out and meet some important personages like the king, the president, etc. And later people liked it, so I made more and gave it to them or and sell them at a very reasonable price. Like that, I also have a little business to take care of my other things. And I make jewelry, lamps, and other things as well. So I can take care of my moms and nuns, whoever is still with me, are the good ones. I still have many good moms and nuns who are in the high level the fourth and the fifth. I told them that, but I don't want to mention their names because I don't want them to be ruined by other disciples and make their ego come in and kill them. Only when the monks or nuns have ascended, then we put their photos and titles in a saintly hall so people do know, so their relatives and friends also know and treat them as thirst. 
these monks and nuns who have become saints, fourth or fifth level, they were very humble. They truly did their good job. So if even they cannot be my successor, why would such a, a little low-level demon doing nothing good still in my things, my style and all that, even forced people to give him money a lot for fame and profit? How can he be my successor? And singing like that, oh God, when I heard it accidentally, I was so embarrassed for him. Because I had a no SIM card a phone, and one of my team before made it into Supreme Master TV for me to check, to look sometimes when I don't want the whole computer up. And then when I turn on the Supreme Master television, sometimes accidentally I touch it with my finger and things roll up and so many things come out. And I only accidentally knew about him and his name and room just some days ago because I never looked on the internet before. I didn't have a chance. I was too busy inside taking care of the whole universe and meditating a lot and outside having to take care of Supreme Master TV and taking care of my business and corresponding all kinds of things. I had no time. And also in my mind, I never would have thought that anybody could steal my work and claim it for themselves and say uh, that I conferred a successor title on him. I could never imagine that. I heard here and there, now and then, a little, not quite clearly. I brushed it off. Only recently, I never knew before his name and the successor thing at all. Some occasions, some of my real disciples told me, but I just brushed it aside. I said, oh, never mind, humans are... Just like that. They just want fame and fortune, and they don't know that hell is waiting for them for lying, the biggest lie in the whole universal law. Over these decades, <laughs> many things people said about me, concerning me. <laughs> I never knew what they were talking about. I don't have enough time to go around to every house and say, please, this is not true, there's not true, uh, because I really also could not care less. I leave it all in God's hands. And the people, whoever did wrong to me, and they haven't caught, we take care of them. I saw some of them in very bad shape down there, and I wanted to put my hand out to touch them, but the karma force just blew them away in the other direction. I can't keep chasing them forever. So each one of the beings, of the humans, has to take care of themselves, has to nourish and protect their own moral standard. I can only remind them, but I can't do it for them. This guy is forbidden to use my name or my style, anything in any way at all, even hinting at it like, a mother ocean or whatever like that. My name is Ching Hai, meaning pure ocean. Don't try to hint around just to get my blessing. There's no such blessing to go into that demon who's just trying to distract people from the right path and drag them into a demon's realm in order to use them as slaves. And he even will not treat them well, punish mm -hmm. them for any little thing that they cannot do well. So this is terrible. That's why God told me the world people have to know his exact words. If I lie to you here about this, God will punish me in hell forever, I'm telling you. I don't dare because I know the inner world. I know the universal world. I don't dare do anything that God doesn't allow or my highest self, the master, has to allow me in order to do anything. Even though God told me already to tell you, I asked again and again. <laughs> then finally, he said, the world people have to know. So I'm here sitting in a dim light and trying to tell you with all my heart that I'm very sorry for any way that they abuse you or that they take your energy 
do anything wrong to you. If they even harm you in the darkness of the night, I'm sorry. I'm told all that, but I don't have any evidence to show you except those that he walked, those that he talked, and that he sings and all that. And oh my God, he really acted so well, the demon. If I had such a theatrical disciple like that, I would be so ashamed, so embarrassed not to talk about being my successor. You know, I have better taste than that. So I guess you understand. I'm just worried about other people, whoever follows these demons and might be harmed in some way. I have been praying for to be protected. If you really don't listen and follow the demon, then there's not much I can do either. I can only pray for you because it's your life, your soul, your liberation, your enlightenment. So if you want to rise up to a better standard and be more enlightened, then you can choose. But not this guy, not Tang Tang. Oh, he's a demon. He's not real. Okay? Since he came in already. First, he was my monk resident. And then he lied to me. He said he was very sick. Uh, he has a disease that uh, is uh, like uh, inherited from family DNA and cannot be cured. So I believed him. So he said he didn't want to stay anymore. He go. I said, okay then, be well. If there's anything you need, I will give it to you. If you need some money for medicine or something, let me know. And the last time I saw him, <laughs> he was with his wife and a son. Always his wife pushed him to hold the son, to push right in front of my face. That's how I remember him. I didn't know his name was Trang Tam either. They told me his name is Term. Term, you know, like the bird pineapple. In all our seas, Vietnamese saw the genetic sickness that he had. Really, is named hormones, you can guess. And so many years, since 20-something years, I never heard of him. I don't remember him at all, just recently. Somebody told me, and then I even wrote him a letter, say, don't do this, you don't have enough power. You'll be dragged down, and the people who follow you will be also dragged down. Let them be. This is a very bad thing that you're doing. Even if he's a real human, not a demon, and even if he's mistaken or somebody alter my talk or falsified my statement or someone told him something that he is my successor. But after he received my letter, he should have known that it's not true. He should have changed plus apologized already. But he didn't. So that means he really wanted to cheat people, to delude the innocent and vulnerable faithful for his lowly purpose, using my status to lure others into his group for fame and gain, outwardly pretending to be a monk and acting well to cover up his demonic ID. Not that he did not receive the letter. He received the letter and his uh, so-called assistant answered my uh, group who helped me to deliver the letter. He said, uh, he's the same, you know, <laughs> like me, something like that. He's doing the same. Yeah, yeah, it looked from the outside, maybe similar, but it's all empty. He doesn't have that power to bless people. He has this demonic kind of force which sucks people's energy, deludes and seduces them into believing in him and giving him money, giving him their body, giving him whatever he wants, even in the darkness behind others' back and sight. I tell you, whatever I saw clearly. I'd also be too ashamed to put it into more words. Maybe one day it all will come to light. The real monk would not touch any nuns and would not force his followers to give him a lot of money through his own monks. And they even complained about it openly in one of his talks. I wasn't interested. I just accidentally pushed my finger and then it went there and then I heard a 
woman complains. If he said that money is just paper, then why does he let his monks become so greedy and always uh, ask them for money, something like that? I shut it after he brushed this subject aside with excuses as if it's no big deal. I'm telling you all this, being aware of its disadvantage, and it's like free advertising for him, but I have to. You probably can find it better than me. I don't know how to retrace it. I have no idea about all this high tech. If I lost that, then I lost it. I don't know how to retrieve it, but I'm sure you can. On YouTube, all of you have high tech talent. I don't have any. I can only do the Supreme Master television, which is already arranged and prepared for me. Anything more, I don't know how. I can't even write emails. I don't have an email. I don't know how. I don't even know how to lie. One time in Taiwan, they taught me how. And I lied just to test a few times, and then I didn't use it. I normally prefer to talk directly, so the person can answer directly, and you can hear each other. You know, it's more friendly. I don't know how to lie and stuff. I don't use it, so I don't know how. Up to now, I still don't know how to lie or anything. And in recent years, they have new phone for me. And I don't know how to even text. Before, I had the other phone, and I could text sometimes. But now, I don't even know how to text. So, any of you? Uh, <clears throat> my so-called people or outside... And non-disciples can find it easily that people complain. Nhưng cả gia đình tôi đều thu theo ngài, theo những gì tôi được biết từ những chia sẻ của những người trong gia đình là từ xưa đến giờ ngài không bao giờ quan tâm đến vấn đề tiền bạc và vật chất. Mỗi khi thiền sinh đến thiền đường, nếu ai cúng dường tiền hỗ trợ ngài, ngài đều không nhận. Đối với cặp mắt của ngài thì tiền giống như một miếng giấy, thậm chí có khi trong người của ngài không có một đồng xu nhưng ngài cũng im lặng chấp nhận ngài kêu đưa cho ban tổ chức hoặc người xuất gia của ngài giữ để dùng nó làm việc phật sự ngày tháng trôi qua cuối cùng thì những người học trò của ngài cũng mở lòng tham lam họ nắm tất cả thứ, mọi thứ tôi xin hỏi ngài những trường hợp nêu trên chắc ngài đều biết trước sẽ xảy ra đúng không ạ à? nếu ngài đã biết thì tại sao lại để cho học trò của ngài rơi vào tội nhân thiên cổ, khơi dậy tấm lòng tham lam, sống trong vật chất, sống trên mồ hôi nước mắt của những người mộ đạo. Họ đến với ngài bằng đức tin và tình yêu thương ngài, nên họ không tiết tiền của mà cúng dường cho ngài. Nhưng cuối cùng lại bị những người học trò của ngài mưu mô, tham lam, ích kỷ chiếm lấy. Những sự việc này có phải xảy ra là do ngài không nghiêm khắc với người xuất gia? để cho người xuất gia bị vật chất lôi kéo rồi xa đà vấp ngã. Nếu lá thư của tôi có gì mà muội thì xin ngài tha thứ, nhưng xin ngài hãy giải thích rõ hơn cho chúng tôi được hiểu thêm về vấn đề này. Xin cảm ơn ngài. À, đâu chạy ra khỏi thế gian này thì cho khi con người chúng ta đến với thế giới này hai bàn tay trắng, khi mình ra đi rồi cũng đều là trắng tay. Thì cho chỉ là một vật chất thôi, đâu có gì mà sư phụ phải gì, phải lo lắng nó. Hãy cho à, lòng tham con người ai ai cũng đều có cả. Đừng quan tâm đến ai, mà cứ chuyện gì xảy đến cho một cuộc sống của một con người. Hãy cho chạy đi đâu cho ra khỏi cái tam giới này. Chạy đi đâu cho ra khỏi cái lương tâm của mình. Hãy cho thôi cứ để tự nhiên nữa vậy. ok Cảm ơn quý vị quan tâm, không có gì phải giải thích cho quý vị cả. Đối với ta không có gì cả. Okay. And some people even ask me why I did that. I said I never did anything. I never announced that I have a successor. I never announced that I quit my job. This is not a job that you can retire from. I wish I could. I wish I could retire. Then I would not have to eat in front of my work. I would not have to run in the house because... My time was so short that I had to save so much time. I do a couple of jobs at the same time. Yeah. I don't have time even sometimes. I'm extra hungry after small little lunch. And I don't have time to even eat even if I want to. Because there is inside work for me to do. There's meditation. There are 
people calling for help everywhere in the world. Not to talk about in hell or on other planets in the universe. I'm quite a busy woman. Uh, even if I'm just telling you that, so you know I'm quite busy, a woman. I'm eating while I'm working. Yes. I have like a wet towel next to me. So while I'm eating, if I want to write something, correct something, edit something on my computer, I have to wipe my hand and then I touch the mouse and touch the keyboard. And whatever I do, I have to almost like run. But it's good. I'm comforting myself. That is kind of like exercise within the room with a little window open. Yeah. Some windows can't open wide, you know, so just whatever I have is what I have. And there's very little room for everything in here. And if you walk into my room, you have to zigzag because it's not like a big and beautiful decorated room or anything. <sighs> Now, again and again, uh, God told me the world people have to know. It's some people say that in 2005, I announced that I quit. Never happened. I don't know where they heard such a thing. And then I uh, gave a will to Trang Tam to be my successor. Oh, that would be the worst nightmare if it happened. The following is the comment found on YouTube referred to by Master as a false statement. Rồi, 40 năm rồi mới nói. Trong khi 2005, Ngài thông báo đã hết nhiệm kỳ và đã đưa ra di chúc kế nghiệp là Ngài Trần Tâm hay Master Ruma, Guruji Ruma, Sagar Ruma Garmatha. I tried to look for a successor. I could not find one. And even if you reach the fourth level or fifth level, as some of my monks and nuns do, then through my own power, I send them only as a representative with extra power for them, for that day, for that job. They don't have enough power to save so many disciples that I send them out to give the instruction. The person who gives the instruction uh, through my order is not a master himself. He can't at one time, you know, like save uh, thousands of people or even a few hundred people. No, he would die immediately. And then he might have to go to hell for them because of their karma. He can't do that. So I just have to tell them to go there, thank God, thank all the masters, and then give the uh, just an oral instruction for them to know how to sit and where to concentrate. That's all. But the inner power is not from him. Is from God through the unique connection with the Master. They cannot hold all this power. They are not made for it. But uh, I cannot say that these uh, fourth or fifth level uh, monks of mine are powerful enough to save so many beings any time at initiation. They know that, and they are very humble. That's how it is. But this. Chang Tam, you can see, definitely is a demon. Nobody can lie like that. He wanted to leave monkhood because of genetic sickness and came soon after with a woman and their own son. Then why he denied connection with me, claiming himself as a master, successor and all that. He sneaked his son into Sihu, Taiwan to get initiation. My team was kind of worried, but only told me afterward that I gave him a successor position or uh, not in the whole nightmare even. So now God has told me to tell you this. I hope that uh, people will not be deluded anymore and harmed by him. I don't blame you. <sighs> I just blame the whole world karma and the dharma and in age, which is very turbulent and very troublesome, very disastrous, uh, dangerous and fatal even. 
it blinds and degrades people's better judgment. They are vulnerable to the negative, deluding, vicious force, can only hope that blesses them, frees them from the brutal snare of demons. We, the heavens protectors, and I myself are working day and night to really try to save people, save all of you. And now that I've been ordered to tell you also that I am Maitreya Buddha, also known as the Savior, Christ, Jesus returned. I just hope that <laughs> you will still let me live. The reason I didn't tell you all these decades is because I wanted to be known just as a master, a simple master, easier to work among people, remembering how Lord Jesus died, how many masters, saints, their disciples have been martyred. I just wanted to have less threats. In this period, must be extra cautious. I wanted your life also to be in less danger. But still, in some restricted countries, or even less restricted ones, world karma can also make hurdles for my work and security. Some of my disciples also bear some similar situations. I had so many troubles, many dangers. By the way, even today, while I'm asking her, why do I have to do all this? I don't know if I will be safe telling this about Tantam or anyone else. Oh, God said sorry. God said sorry to me. Sorry, you have to go through so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> I almost collapsed hearing that, you know. I could not even cry. But I humbly thank you, God, for saying such a wonderful thing. It was really a real comfort to me. A real comfort. That, that nothing else in the world could give me such, such a grace and comfort. Oh, Oh, dear God, thank you so much for loving me so much, for being so kind to me and saying such a beautiful thing to me. Though I, I, so, though I feel I'm not all that worthy, I never feel like I've done enough. But I just try my best. Thank you, God, for saying such thing, my God. I never thought I would ever hear such words from you. Oh, please understand that humans are not all that strong. I'm also not strong. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Humans do wrong because they're also not strong, and they've been influenced by all these demons. So please forgive, God, please forgive, forgive and forgive. Please give more time. Dear God, please don't destroy this planet. I really also love this planet. I just wish I could go somewhere big and with wilderness. And I have time and space for my dog and my people, but they just die one after another without me. But never mind, God, you know what you're doing and you know where it's good for me. You know what you should give me. I thank you in any way for everything, good, bad, or oh. A neutral, whatever you arrange, is all perfect. It's just, uh, if you could forgive humans, and please do something to awaken them. Or, or just take me, just take all my merit, whatever, to forgive all the humans and all beings on this planet. Please, <laughs> because every time, I have to work for Supreme Master Television, and I have to see how they suffer. The human victims on the street, even from road wrecks or an crazy person. Even little children nowadays, they kill them just like in a game. So many 
many things that demons make to distract people from you, distract them from goodness and from their own original nature. I believe all humans are good, dear God. They're all good. They're so good inside. They're just being blurred, being blunted, being deluded by the, 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 the force of Maya who is ruling this world and ruining them. That's all. Please, please forgive and do something to teach them. If I don't have enough, it's all my fault that I don't have enough ability to convince them, God. And look at me in this world. I'm just in the body of a fragile little woman. I came from a country that was just recovered from war. Who am I even to convince them? Because the people, they expected all people in this world. I think they expect differently how the master should look. Each one is different. Even the Buddha, he's already in Nirvana, and many countries revere him. But they make his the statues all different. In Thailand, they make him with a with a pointed hat. Some of them, and in in China, they make him look like the Chinese. In Vietnam, they make him look like the Vietnamese. In Japan, they they make the Buddha statue look like the Japanese. <laughs> So I can't be all that, <laughs> especially since I'm still alive. I can't, you know, <laughs> sculpt myself for each of them to look like the way they want. Only if they are connected with the master power which you house within me inside, then they can see differently according to their liking also. Because some people don't know me, but if they believe in me or have some affinity with me in the past life, then the master power within me will make me look like what they'd like to see. Maybe look like Kwan Yin Bodhisattva or like Sekamuni Buddha or like Amitabha Buddha or like even the angels of the Western religion or even look like Lord Jesus. But only my disciples know who is the real me they can prove it. They have the way to prove it. And we are connected differently. But to the mass of outsider people, the master power has to make this uh, being of mine look like something they like. So they'd never know. It was me who came to help them in their desperate situation. And most of them don't see me anyway, even if I help everyone. They can't see. Some, some can see surprised. You know, like uh, some of my disciples, family members. Some are not initiated and don't believe in me or anything. But they saw it. Uh, so called me, the manifestation of light body came to their house in their time of need. And they told my so called disciples. So my so called disciples didn't see the manifestation of uh, the so called me, the master come to their house to help them in their time of need. But the non-disciples who happened to be in that house saw it. And sometimes the children see it, but uh, the adults cannot see nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. And whatever you arrange, God, this is all your arrangement. What I mean is how will I convince people who are so deluded already by the Mara power and who have been deeply engaged in their own convictions, in their own beliefs, that uh, such and such religion is good, and uh, such and such uh, priests or monks are for them to trust. Thus, even in many cases, hurt themselves or get hurt by those that they trust because they fake to represent you. They just been born with such uh, ideas so they could not change so fast or easily. I do not blame them, my Lord. I just feel sorry that I don't have enough ways and means to, to help them. I mean, I can help them a little in silence, but not 
that they could help themselves, you know, to be enlightened and to know you, God Almighty, and to see all the beautiful worlds that you have made for them. And they will be so happy, happy, happy in this lifetime already. Uh, I'm just trying very hard with everything I can with Supreme Master Television also, so that maybe it will awaken somebody, some of your children in some corner somewhere, or help them a little bit in their time of desperate need, especially in this ending time. You know, uh, one person cannot do a lot, but I also thank you for sending angels and noble beings who work outside my circle. They're helping children, orphans, animal people, war victims and all that, but it's still never enough. This world is not heaven, my God. This world is half hell, and people are so poisoned by the energy and darkness of this world. It's very difficult to wake them up. I do my best, but even though I have disciples, I don't see a lot of them either because, you know, the world has like 8 billion. <laughs> and how many disciples do I have? You know it, yeah. I wish my followers who worship you are 8 billion and more. All beings here should worship you only. Because nowadays, people have very convenient instruments to check out what is on the Internet. Many things in there hook them in, bad or good. So we just do our best to put the Supreme Master television out there. I never have enough manpower, my dear God. You know that, sir, because they're all busy with their worldly work to earn their living and to keep up with the Joneses. And so they have very little time, and then they have to take care of their family, their business, their work, and then their children. And their children brought more children, and, uh, you know, their children bring more grandchildren, and uh, no end. No end. Even when they have grown old already and retired, they have to take care of their grandchildren sometimes so that their children can work and go on holiday or do whatever. And, and of course, the grandparents like that, like to have the grandchildren. And then they will tend to their garden or they walk out to the beach, or they go on holiday or they go visit their friends or they go visit their children or their children visit them. You can see it so busy, busy everywhere. I don't have a lot of workers not as many as I would like to have. Nevertheless, I am grateful to you for my dedicated team. I just wish they could have more time to relax, enjoy some more meditation. I love them. Ah, and I feel sorry for them. Please bless them, my Lord. So you see, I too work very hard. So in this Chang Dam, you know, I never noticed him. I never notice who's doing what. I'm just too busy doing my work. And you know that, God, you know that. You know, I always tell you the truth, because I fear you, of course. I don't mean fear, like afraid. I mean, I know that you know everything. And besides, this universe is transparent. So whatever we do is all recorded, all seen, all heard, all known, all identified. It's just that some ignorant beings don't understand that, or that all the devils do not care, because they think they can live forever with their little power they have. Oh, one day they will know it is not like that. Uh, I don't blame them either, dear God. Maybe they are good for somebody to test those somebody's faith in God to test their enlightenment inside, to test their purity in their subconsciousness, in their soul, in their mind, whether or not they're pure enough to recognize the bad from the good and to continue being faithful to God and pray to God for guidance, rely on God for sustenance and thank God for everything they have. 
sisters, they have been deluded. Please, my Lord, forgive us, forgive them. If you have to blame someone, then blame me alone because I just don't have enough strength. I don't have enough ability. I don't have enough time to convince each one of your children to return, to remember you. Just blame me alone, my Lord. Just feel sorry, feel pity for the humans and other beings, the animal people. Understand everything, even wild animal people. If you help them, they carry that debt in their heart and their gratitude is no end. Like the fox and the bird people. I, I fed them here and there, anywhere, whenever I could, and feel so sorry that I cannot continue to feed them. And I always apologize and send them my love. Even just a little anything, they, they never forget. I don't know why humans are so blind and so deaf and so dumb to spiritual energy and spiritual knowledge that even you have to keep sending your sons and your representatives down to earth alone just to talk about earth only. So many, and they still have not woken all humans up. And they have to suffer hell, fire, and all so much punishing in hell that I myself... I don't dare to even look at it too often because I would suffer so much. Taking it in, feeling so much of their extreme pain. I suffer so much already the hell on earth when I see the animal people being so tortured, tormented, and, and murdered like that, and humans in war, children, innocent children being hurt, babies being hurt even before being born. Children and grown-ups wounded, becoming handicapped, becoming disabled, and handsome young men and women coming home with lost limbs in brutal wars. It's difficult to take care of their wife and their kid, and the parents, you know, have to see their children come home from, from the war, losing everything that they have seen in them before. Losing their mind, losing their their normal or conduct, and doing wrong things even because the war made them crazy. You know, all these kind of things. I cannot say enough. I can never say enough. Dear God, you know it all. I know I keep telling you all this. I'm sorry. You know everything. Please forgive me for talking too much. But my heart's so painful. I can't not talk to you. Whom shall I talk to then? Okay, so I have told the world already what you wanted me to tell. Mm. Please, if they still have any hope, well, please help them and help them to understand that God is the only refuge. A real master is the only solution for them to be liberated. I can talk forever, but I don't know how many people here, <laughs> or they just don't listen. If they see, or well, they just don't perceive anything through their physical eyes and their minds and subconscious are being blocked somehow. Things are so simple. Even children understand it, but many humans don't understand. Oh dear God, I'm also feeling tired sometimes of this world. Please help me, bless me to get strong and continue the mission that you assigned to me with all honor, humble gratitude, and <sighs> repentance. I don't really know how well I do my job. I don't know how well I have done or do. I never feel it's enough. So forgive me, my dear father. <laughs> oh, I, I, I forgot I kept talking to you. I forgot the... Uh, your, or your children or the children or please uh, whoever listens in the world I tell you all in honesty please listen I would not dare to tell you lies because you have God in you and God is listening to me in fact God is talking through me I have 
requested God to please talk through me because I don't know how to express this. Everything I told you is from God's power talking through me, not this body that talks to you, okay? All right. I wish you again all the best. I wish you more enlightenment. I wish you freedom from the slavery of this world. I wish you to be free from the bad influence of the negative force. I wish you to know God. That's the best thing. That's the best I could I could wish for you. And that's the best I could have you if you let me, if you come to me. I will do all I can to help you to know God, which is quite easy, actually. All my disciples know that. It's as easy as you, <laughs> as you breathe, as you talk, you know, as you put your hand in your pocket and take out a piece of tissue. That's how easy it is to know God. It's just you don't come to the right place. I wish you would come to the right place, wherever that can be. If anyone else can show you God, I thank them for you. Please try to find God, okay? Praise God, thank God, and try to find God. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us, for blessing us still, and for trying to use my body, my being, my temple, to help your children. I thank you for that privilege and for all the power that you pour onto me every day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sire. Thank you, God Almighty. May you be happy also with us. <sighs> Slowly or one day soon. Amen. I love you, Lord. We all love you. Cherished Master, our deepest thanks for being humanity's advocate and ceaselessly trying to awaken the slumbering world so that we take sanctuary in God and find an enlightened Master for liberation from the three worlds. We wish that all now hear and heed your teachings. Your love for us is inexpressible and unfathomable and you have our utmost gratitude for guiding us in this illusory realm. May God Almighty forever shield Master and bring her tranquility, comfort, and all that she needs for her God-assigned mission.